That music is scary. Oh, creepy. Not scary, actually. What the hell? Anyways, hello all you awesome people out there. My name is Akiru, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Lucius. So, let's see what our Ouija board has to tell us today. Uh, phone can be many, my uses can vary, but when I saw it, something. I'm deadly. Uh, okay. That's, actually, I found out that's a uh, hint to how to kill the person, so I will remember that. So, first up, let's see. Um, I think um, cause of the butler was going out to do some stuff. I actually think it's him that I have to go after. Um, so, let's start by going downstairs to where the party is held. Okay. What's taking Alistair so long? Hello, my boy. He should be here with us. I think the lady of the house is losing it. <laughs> I wonder why. Everyone around her is dying? Okay. So, let's see. Okay, the last time I saw the butler, he was over here. So, let's start by going in here. Yeah, he's there. Oops. Let's see what he has to tell me. If you play outside, be careful. The grounds can be very slippery. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's a hint. Oh, bugger. Be a good boy and fetch me a bottle of 1933 wine. You can manage that, can't you? Yeah, I think so. So, our target is Alistair. Uh, seems that everyone is having a Christmas dinner in the dining room. Only Alistair is away from the crowd. Perhaps I could find a way to get rid of him outside. Okay. Half a moment, Lucius. I'm in the middle of something. Um, bottle of wine? Do we have a wine cellar or something? Um, let's see. Um, isn't there a way to scroll through the maps? Oh, there. <laughs> Where's this going? Music. Toilet, uh, refrigerator, dining room, outside, I'm there. Where's this going? It's not showing on any of the maps. Hmm. I will try to see if I can figure that out. Uh, the poison. Okay, so the first thing is <laughs> I thought, what the heck was that? <laughs> the mannequin thing. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost. <laughs> okay, so there's some Christmas lights. Oh, the Christmas lights are here. So, and they told me the in the prelog for this episode that he has to turn on the Christmas lights. Uh, he has done that, so. Ooh, I'm making footprints in the snow. Yay! And this is. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure that I had to do something with that. And. I'm pretty sure that this is. What happened to the lights? I turned them off. Oops. Okay, let's see. I've got something in my notes here. This gives me an idea. He should be careful. It could get slippery outside during the winter. Yes, that's what he told me. Uh, what do I have that could... Look, Harry Potter. 
Uh, didn't I get a bottle? I have a bottle. So maybe I can use that. It's not that he can follow my footprints or anything. What's with the cable? You're not playing with me, are you, Lucius? No! No did wool! Okay, so he's going by here when I turn out the light. Okay, so I just have to find a toilet so I can get some water. Um actually where is the toilet? Um I'm there near the toilet, I have to go down here. And around. And there we have a toilet. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, didn't I select oops, the water bottle before? There we go. So, I'm pretty sure that I have to place this water. Um, Underneath the spike. There. And then that will freeze twice. Very fast. Okay. Oh, I just have to... I'm an idiot. I just have to turn out the light. Again, so he goes... Um, bye. Hmm. What happened to the lights? Again? I don't know. It wasn't me. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I have to get this bike to fall down, so... Where is Alistair? There it is. So now we're just waiting to get to the right place. Uh, go and get help, Lucius, quick. I must have pulled my back out. He slipped and hurt his back. That didn't do the trick by itself. I need some fine tuning. I should look around here. Yeah, and that's the spike. So let's um do this. I wasn't standing there, but okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Mr. Wagner, this is Wayne Preston from the Herald. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the recent deaths at Dante Manor. This is a private line. How did you get this number? Five deaths within a few months is quite a sensational story, Mr. Wagner. The public needs to know. Winter Hill Police Department. This is Senator Charles Wagner. Please put me through to Detective McGuffin. The press are closing in on this, Mr. McGuffin. I have an election coming up, and I can't let this get out of control. I sympathize with you, Mr. Wagner. These journalist types are like vultures around every sad case I get. They just love tragedies. But what can we do? It's a free country. I need to keep this out of the papers, Mr. McGuffin. We've had a run of bad luck. It's as simple as that. The stakes are high, and I'm under a lot of pressure to clear this up. The pressure is on both of us. Your mess is making the precinct look like a joke, and my superiors are not going to take it lightly. Yeah, well, you won't know the half of it unless you get this wrapped up. Is that a threat, Mr. Wagner? 
That's not something you want to find out. A couple of phone calls can do wonders. Detective McGuffin. A word with you, please. How did you get in here? You're working the case here at the Wagner estate. I'd like to ask a few questions about the series of unusual deaths that have occurred over the last few months. Now listen to me. You leave those people alone. They've had some bad luck is all. They're nice people, and they need space to get over their losses, okay? And if I find you anywhere near this house again, I'll run you in. You got it? I was almost ready to bring in the Latina maid. I was planning on searching a room hoping to find a bottle of rat poison or a padlock. But suddenly, it was too late. Seems that Tom Wagner, brother of Charles, had an affair with two of the maids. I guess one of them found out and wasn't happy about it. Can't really figure out what they saw in that guy. I mean, he was mooching from his brother and doing God knows what in his dirty little film room. When we searched that room, it was a sick pervert's nest. I mean, they had a kid in that house. Little did I know about this kid. Yeah. That's me. January the 3rd. Fatal Affairs. Up and get dressed. So, that is one more death, so I think we have not that big of a family left, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos, and I hope you all have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. Thank you.